Hey, so let's talk chalk. I uh, wanted to do a quick little video. I was talking to a lifter last night about chalk. She doesn't use chalk. Um, and when I first started out the first two years, I didn't use chalk either. I didn't really know why people were using it. I thought they had sweaty hands. I didn't have sweaty hands, so I didn't use chalk. Um, but then I watched a video of a fellow lifter talking about chalk and uh, friction and how having chalk on your, your bell means that you don't have to hang on as tight and actually just sticks to your hand. So it saves your grip, saves your hands. Um, if you're not used to using chalk, it can initially uh, tear up the hand until you figure out exactly how to let go of the hand and not hang our handle and not hang on too tight. So it does take a little practice to get used to it but it will, will make your kettlebell set a lot easier than um, if you don't use chalk because the handle is slippery. Even if you think it's not, it makes a huge difference if the kettlebell just sits in your hand as opposed to you having to hold it um, and feel like the kettlebell is getting away from you and you have to pull it back in. So I just wanted to do a quick chalking video um, and also just show the difference between these bells and how I chalk a belt, um, and then hopefully it helps. So definitely let me know in the comments if this is something that works for you. Um, some bells come with a lot of coating. This is a fairly new bell. So this is going to take quite a few times of chalking before it starts to get used enough that it will start ha uh, handling chalk and be able to get chalks to stick to it. So sanding paper, this is a drywall sanding paper brought to me by one of my lifters. Um, who has experience in home renovations. It's awesome. Um, and you just cut it into strips and then you can sand it like this. So this bell, yes, we can sand it down and chalk it, but it's still not going to take chalk very well um, until it's been used and chalked and sanded a few more times. Um, but you can already see with me sanding, maybe depending on how close, right? It is, the handle is getting roughed up so you can start a layering sand on it. This is an older bell. It is the same brand. You can see the kettlebell handle has lost its shine. Sometimes I still will sand before I add chalk to it. Um, some people were finding that the little metal shards were actually irritating their hands. So I find after sanding it, wiping it down with paper towel before you chalk it, just to get some of the little metal shards off. Um, and then this, of course, is the Pro Kettlebell, and these kettlebell handles are, they come roughed up a little bit, so they take a lot, ch uh, chalk a lot easier than some of the other bells. I like to leave my bells chalked, so this is the bells that I used the other day, and then I just add layers to it. When the layer gets too thick, then I'll sand down, you know, strip it down and restart chalking on that, but these just left out in, you know, in the gym, the ambient air does um, help with roughing up the handles, even maybe even rusting them a little bit, so they can get a bit rougher, so you can you can chalk the handle. So I'll just show you quickly on, say, this kettlebell, what I do. Um, again, I don't have super sweaty hands, so it takes me a little bit to chalk a bell, but how I start is I really try to rub as much chalk into the handle as possible. Um, before I start getting my hands wet. So layering it, really pushing in. Um, and a warmer handle will take a little bit more chalk, a little chalk a little bit easier. So usually I've warmed up on a kettlebell. Uh, the gym here doesn't have really heat. So the kettlebells do stay fairly cold. Um, so that can make a difference on how the kettlebell handle will take chalk. So I'll do this a few times to try to get as much chalk into the handle as possible. And then you can see that's a pretty thin layer. Um, and then what I do is I spray my hand. And so I've got a little bit of dampness in my hand. Rub them together so they're not wet, wet, but still damp. And then I'll add as much chalk to my hand as I can. You can see this. And then I'll start back on that kettlebell handle, rubbing in. And you can see how now that layer is 
going on a little bit nicer, right? And I'm getting a thicker layer onto the handle. And again, I'll just do a couple presses through like that. And I'm getting a nice layer on to that handle, you can see. And depending on the bell and how it's taking chalk, or if it's already got chalk on it, I'll do this spray and then put through chalk on the hands. Again, a lot of chalk on the hands, so there's not actually any wet parts touching the bell. And I layer it up again. So it'll be a little bit rough, but not too rough. If you notice you're getting lots of bumps on there, that most likely is because you've got too much water, right? Water on your hands, maybe even water on the bell. So just keep seeing if you can grind more chalk into that handle to smooth it out. And if you can't and it's too rough, um, you might have to sand down those lumps and bumps and start again. Um, I know some people that like those lumps and bumps on their handle. They do find that it does help them uh, hold on to the kettlebell for longer. And again, you don't want to grip the handle too tight. If you grip the handle too tight, then um, that's where you're going to tear your hands because the chalk does stick to your hand. The handle sticks to your hand. So you want to be as loose as possible on that handle. And then I have one of these handy brushes that one of my uh, lifters from a while back brought into the gym for us to use. We also have little brooms. Brush off as much chalk as you can. Uh, know that your first couple reps there might be a little bit of chalk coming down, right, until you get off the bottom. And then you can just see how nicely layered that chalk is. And then a bell that I've used, right, Oops. there's some spots that are losing chalk. So today before my set, I will put another layer on there and try to cover up those spots where I've lost chalk during the set. So it does take a few minutes. That's why I like to leave my bells chalked, especially if I'm using six, sometimes eight different bells, right? If I'm using four different sizes or three different sizes, um, it does take a little bit of time. Um, so hopefully that helps. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know uh, if you use chalk, if you don't use chalk, and how you like it.